What's up, YouTube? Jake back with another real and fake video. And of course, y'all seen on the description, it is the Quart Purple 2.0. So let me start with May. Both of these kicks came in on Friday. So this video should have been made Friday night. But when I have a house full of people, man, everybody up, everybody's up. Quarantine time, everybody's on lockdown. People are up all night, man. And all it does is just make me go in my room and go to bed or just... Go back, stay on Instagram, answer people's questions and stuff like that and just completely lose motivation. Plus, I'm still working. So, yes, I am a, an essential worker. So, you know, I'm out, I'm out there still making it happen. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to get this thing started, man. So, like I say, both of these shoes came at, at the same time. I took a gamble and ordered on the fake pair before I even was able to obtain the real pair. So, of course... It's a size 12, and on the sneakers app, I had to get them on 12 and a half because the size um, size 12 got sold out on me, and I was able to get back in there and boom, get the 12 and a half. So I can fit between the 12 and the 13, depending on the, the cut of the shoe. So so it's no big deal. I picked up a 13 of the Obsidian. So hey, it is what it is. Let's get this thing started. But well, we could go with the box first. We're gonna look at the label. As you can see, buck 70. Like he added that extra 10 bucks on us. See this here. They got it at 160, you notice that? So they didn't change the price as it's 170 here and it's 160 on the uh, fake pair. And then you can see like, you see how the box is, you can just see like, it's a different material in the box. It's a different color hue. Everything's like, it's kind of kind of weird. It's a different feel. This feels kind of waxy. This feels fine. You can tell that just from the box alone, there's a quality difference. All right. Stamp. What we got here? No stamp. All right. That's my sneakers receipt. And let's get on with the shoe because this will be a a review as well. Pull out the real shoe. Take a look at those laces. It's 12 and a half. I try to be a, a bit clear. I've been seeing in the comment section on some of my videos that some people are getting confused. So let's get this right. The shoe on the right hand side will always be uh, the, uh, the real shoe. Shoe on the left hand side of your screen will be the fake shoe. And you, most of the time I do mention if I put, have both shoes together, I'll say the fake is at the top, real is at the bottom or something like that. So if you're skipping through the videos and you get lost, that's not my fault. <laughs> that's on you. I do my best to explain what's going on. And I love the OG color blocking. I passed on the, uh, the 1.0s last year. I, I passed on the pine greens and the quart purples last year. So I picked up the 2.0s this year and I'm very, very happy with them. Except for on the pine greens, I don't like that 3D wings logo. If they would have kept it with this stamped, pressed in, uh, wings logo, I'd be good. I'd be really, really happy with them. So, typical Air Jordan 1, OG color blocking, not the, the black toe type color blocking. So, excellent. Everybody know what it is with these boy, bad boys. Same old 12 and a half. Same canvas type, basic Jordan 1 shoe. Pull out the real fake shoe. This, my people, is the fake shoe. And for some strange reason, this fake shoe, which looks great, I'm just looking at it, it feels heavier and it's a size, it's a half size smaller and it feels heavier. So I'm not sure what materials they use, but it just feels a bit heavier. But I mean, it looks, it looks good. I mean, it has the, everything's over. The materials feel pretty good. It feels a little, I don't know, it feels a little like silky material. I mean, the toe box looks all right. Stitching goes ahead. The swoosh looks clean. Uh, the, I can say the wings logo doesn't look as pressed in as uh, the real shoe. Nike Air. And they also have 
because I did take a little look at it, the updated shoe tree. So that's pretty cool, but is it the same size? No, it doesn't look right, but here we go. But they do have the updated shoe tree. I'm gonna move this light a little bit because I don't like it. So let's let's dig deep into this shoe now. We'll, I will pull out another right shoe. Let's get into it. Ah. Fake and real. So and like I say, this is interactive, man. So I want you guys in. What you guys see that I don't spot out, you guys let me know. Uh, the materials, let me take the shoe tree out. A bit softer on the, on the real shoe. The color, the color's the same, the stitching looks all right. Uh, the midsole is a little rougher in the, on the fake shoe, you can see there, and it's clean on the real shoe. Fake, real. Let's take a look at the tongues and the stitching on the tongues. All the material there looks fine. The printing here looks a bit like, you see that? You see that? And I'm telling you, my, you see it's cleaner, whole lot cleaner on the real shoes. So it's definitely a quality difference. Uh, let me get this clear. We all know that both shoes are made in China. This is for buying purposes only. This is not for calling people out or anything like that. We just trying to, I'm just trying to make sure the purpose of my channel is to make sure you're not getting scammed of paying resale prices on a fake shoe. If you're paying for a legit shoe, you pay for a legit shoe. But if you're paying for something like this, no, it's not right. But if you're buying a shoe like this for your own leisure, and if you weren't, you weren't able to pick this up, and you want to get this at your own leisure, and you don't want to pay resale prices, that's the option for you. You go pick this thing up, you do what you got to do. Hey, I ain't mad at you. Times are hard. People don't feel like spending money or going through this and that. I mean, I, I talked to people. They was like, hey, I'd rather go, you know, the fake fake route, the UA route, instead of doing this. You know what I mean? He's, they're like, they're, they're too close. They're close enough. I mean, there's a point in time where there was fake shoes and it was like, yo, like those AAA type fake shoes that go pick them shoes up and no. But when they get something like this and they consider authentic quality, uh, replica fake UA shoes, hey, it's like, I, I don't want to deal with online stuff. I don't want to fight anybody, this and that. Hey, no power to you. I had to say that and just get it out the way so we can get some clarity here. Let's look at the back of the shoe and we'll do the little lean test. You see, they, they never get that right. It's always warped on that sole. It just leans a little bit to the right and this one is like complete. That means so, so it means like the sole is like in a warped fashion. You can always catch that on a fake shoe. And it's a, I don't know if you can tell on the, on the camera, on your screen, but the purple is a bit darker on the right shoe, on a fake shoe, the left shoe. And let's see what printing they have in the back. Zero printing in the back. And it is the same back here as well. Let's look at the QR code and the date. I'm not gonna sit back and look at it. Maybe you guys could sit back and pause it and see. Do the same for this one. That was the fake shoe. Now we're gonna get into, hopefully this is not glued, and we're gonna take a look at the sole. Try to put this bad boy out. I don't wanna damage my shoe. Ah. Oh my goodness. It is, it's glued into the, 
to an extent. This is the real shoe. Boom, boom. That's the sole. 12 and a half. Of course, in fakes, they do not make half sizes. 12 and a half, above 11 and a half. Now, let's pull this one out. Pretty much the same, but it's, I don't know, it's not. Because it has a difference in the glue, difference in the shade, size, but you know, this here. So, yeah, definitely a difference. Let's put this back in. We're getting past, we're past the 10 minute mark on this video, so I'll be wrapping this up. I mean, we've seen just about everything already except for the black light. Why do I have another size? There's an extra sticker in there. 12 and 12. Might be missing in the other shoe. So we put the sole back in. We're gonna take a look at the laces because I don't know, just glancing by the uh, extra laces looked a bit different. I do love that OG color blocking. Now I will, I will admit there's different factories that make these Jordan ones. There's at least three, three different factories that I know when I've been dealing with these fake shoes that, that make Jordan ones. So this won't be the end all be all when it comes to these. There, there's other shoes. So if someone else makes a real fake video, I just noticed that, I just noticed that the sole on this shoe, on this fake one, I think it went to an 11 and a half because there's like a half an inch of space in this shoe. And this is what you get when you when you when you buy these fake bad boys. So I'm have to I will have to get like some if I would wear these, I'd have to get you'd have to get like a Dr. Scholes or something to put in there, another another sole to put in there for a size 12, because that one's not gonna work. Cause you're gonna feel the sole. You're gonna feel like it's gonna be very uncomfortable. All right, so I'm wasting time putting the shoe tree in. I want to look, I mean, that, that, that sole in. So there's a difference again with the fake shoe. Laces are completely wrong. They gave you solid cor corporate laces, which ain't bad. Just regular purple laces where they give you this with the real shoe. So they give you this acid wash, denim type, faded, bleached laces, which will never be touched. So. And then you get these right here with the uh, with the fakes. Soft here. So there you have it. This is the fake shoe. This is the real shoe. So there's tons of differences with these shoes. Not made in the same factory. You know, maybe same facility. Not made at the same time. I ain't got time for all that. Like. Comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake, man, with another video. I'll be making another video soon. Uh, I did uh, pick up the uh, legit pair of the uh, DMP sixes. Got them off of East Bay. I caught caught a huge L on the uh, sneakers app. So uh, next week we have the real fake of the DMPs. More videos coming. I uh, have the flints, fake flints are here. So I do a video on that next. And uh, we'll look at the flint from last year, the fake one, and the one this year. And then I'll be waiting for the real flint to come through. And it'll be a real fake on that. Wait, not done. Got to black like this thing. Woo! Almost messed up there. Trusty black light. Boom. Let's see what's up with the fake shoe. So all that uh, ink from the, from the stitching. So the residue, residue, residue. Not much here. Just some stuff here. Uh, I see something on the materials. See the inside. You guys see it? Boom. Real shoe, same exact thing. Not a lot of residue. Oh, it has the same residue as the other one. You can see it. You probably can't see it. There's a little bit splashing on there. So 
it's not much different when it comes to the anything on these so there's nothing with the sole or anything like that no watermark it's not glowing anything like that so all right just a quick black light on the real and the fake now now the video is done like comment share subscribe man it's your boy jake more videos coming appreciate your time man peace